Uh, <clears throat> Hi guys. Um, yeah, where to start? Uh, thank you. Okay, uh, so, medyo, medyo na disappoint kami, medyo nagalit kami that, uh, this was leaked to the media ng di oras without our consent. But, nandito na to, nandito na tayo. And so, I thought I would address it here and all together na lang. Uh, sorry, wait lang guys ha. Ayan, um, sorry. See. Uh, okay, so, ayun nga. So, medyo, this wasn't supposed to be out in the open yet. So, sana namin to give it time bago namin i-announce because pati kami, hindi namin alam ko no what to make of it uh, but now that it is out in the open hindi namin makontrol uh, I will just uh, address it here now all together but honestly guys, hindi pa ako ready talk but I will do my best um, so uh, yes it's true my mom Claire de la Fuente died early this morning at 7 a.m. Uh, from cardiac arrest because of her anxiety kasi na-confirm nga na meron siyang COVID na uh, they tried to revive her but ah uh, ano talaga guys um yesterday I was yesterday I was talking to her kasi nagpa-upto siya nagpabili ng pagkain sa akin at uh, kasi wala kang pagkain dun sa ospital. So, yun ang huli namin <laughs> pag-uusap. As usual, nagkakairita pa kami sa isa't isa. Yun talaga kami. And, uh, later on the night, yun nga, sabi sa akin ng kapatid ko na narinig na na nag- Hingal na hingal na daw yung nanay ko. And, uh, bigla-biglaan na lang, guys. Uh, so, um, yeah, right now, we, uh, our relatives are trying to, uh, arrange everything for us. And uh, because right now I am stuck in my room because I am COVID positive. Sabay ng mom ko. But I am asymptomatic. Uh, and what pains me is that uh, kahit na positive ako, I couldn't stay with her. At samaan siya doon. Kasi mag lang siya doon sa tent, sa labas ng hospital. Ayaw niyo sabihin sa akin na ganun pala yung kondisyon niya. Uh, I can't, wala rin akong magawa matulong sa kapatid ko na ngayon kaya siya lang ang kasi positive, negative sa amin dito sa bahay na pwede mag-handle ng lahat, pati si Rihanna. So siya yung nag- 
aasikaso ng lahat dito sa bahay. Uh, ako, hindi pa ako lumabas guys eh. So, uh, hindi ko lang maha- may yakap si Rihanna. So, the least I could do is, uh, we don't want to talk to you guys and uh, tell you. Sorry guys, emotional na ako kasi I just told Rihanna kanina and she couldn't stop crying and kahit na na alam ko na itindihan niyo yung sinabi ko yung sabi ko na Rihanna I need you to understand that mommy won't come home anymore okay she can't come home but she has to go somewhere but she wants you to know that she loves you so much and she'll always love you I think they intend niya guys so five years old as it it's not lang kasi hindi nakita ng hindi man lang nakita ni Rihanna yung mom ko yesterday during her birthday birthday kasi ni Rihanna kagabi and uh hindi ko man lang nahawakan si Rihanna kasi nandito lang ako sa kwarto hindi ako pwede lumabas uh I don't know, uh, honestly guys, I don't know how to process, I don't know, uh, how to, uh, what to say or what to think right now, because, syempre hindi natin in-expect, uh, but, Ayun nga, growing up, syempre, uh, my mom always made sure that we, me and my brother, are very independent. Lagi niya sinasabi na, pag ako nawala anak, at least alam kong okay ka. So, I know that me and my brother will make it through this. Malakas kami. We are uh, we are strong. We were raised to be strong. So kakayanin. Uh, it's just not the time that I really expected her to go. Uh, yeah. So. What else can I say? Uh, she's gone. And, uh, sana man lang kinausap niya ako kagabi when I was trying to call, pero ayaw niya ako kausapin kasi ayaw daw niya magsa- magsalita. Uh, it's hard because I have to, uh, I can't do anything right now. Uh, I'm here uh, making sure that I abide by the guidelines, the rules of my quarantine. Uh, so please pray for me na mag-negative na ako but I could take care of uh, Rihanna and my brother who uh, kahit na adult siya, alam ko kailangan niya na kuya niya. Uh, I just <laughs> the last night she spent here sa bahay she asked me to uh, sleep with her or beside her kasi natatakot siya and I did and a part of me knew or felt na parang 
Why was it as if she was saying goodbye? So, I should have known the signs kasi yun yung ginawa ng dad ko sa akin eh. The last night he spent here in this house that they built for us. Uh, he slept here in my room, katabi ko. And after that, hindi siya I guess they were just giving you one last moment with them. Para lang. <laughs> remind ako na Mahal nila ako. Uh, I really wish that uh, it wasn't her time just yet. I wish that she could see us cross that finish line. At alam niyo na, ma, wag ka na mag-alala, tapos na to. I really wanted to give her that muna. But unfortunately, God has other plans for her. So, uh, we just have to accept it. Uh, uh, so, I wanted to say to everyone who has been messaging, uh, I'm sorry, messaging and sending, uh, calling, um, I'm sorry, I cannot, uh, reply right away right now I am I am overwhelmed uh, I, I don't know uh, yeah so but I want you guys to know that I receive I've seen all your messages I've seen your words of love and support so thank you so much uh, I ask you guys to uh pray for my mom and her peace of mind uh, because madali mag alala yung nanay ko eh nerviosa siya and uh, I guess I'll take this time to say to her na ma it's okay pahinga ka na Thank you for everything. Kahit na hindi hindi perfect ang relationship natin. You showed me how much you love me. And I I really love you so much. I know I never got to say that a lot. But I do. I want you to know that kaya ko to, and uh, di mo kailangan magalala. So, ma, rest na. I'm gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. Uh, enjoy kana with Papa upstairs. Kami bahala dito. And so, guys, uh, remember, COVID is real. Please, please uh, comply by the rules. Um, the, kasi dito, ang nangyari is that uh, I think one one of our maids, one of our helpers was briefly exposed nung may binibili siya outside. And uh, nahawa niya mom ko at ako. So... It is a scary 
silent enemy guys covid so please take care of yourselves be safe and uh <sighs> yeah don't know what else to say uh whew. again to everybody all the messages of support and love uh thank you i i i've seen all of your messages i just can't reply right now because i don't know what to reply uh but know that i will be okay know that my brother and i will be okay and that we will handle this in due time uh And please do pray for my mom. Um, later on, we will try to um, arrange a uh, virtual wake for her, for those who want to pay their respects. Uh, because even I can't, I can't pay my last respects to her. As I have to stay here for another week. Sa kwarto ko, ah... Yeah. So again, thank you to everyone, and know that we'll be okay. Thank you for the love and support, and uh, please do stay safe, guys. Stay safe, and God bless. Thank you, guys.